Hello Retroburn here. Today I don't feel like playing any horror games, so no amnesia for now. Uh, but I'm going to give you a vis visual treat. I'm going to play Rage. So if you haven't heard of this, I'm not surprised because when this launched, it didn't make waves as much as its forebears did. So uh, this came from id Software, the company behind Doom and Quake and all those other um, and the sequels of those games, which garnered um, a huge following. And these guys know how to program game engines, so every time they make um, new games, they do push the envelope. Doom is, I mean, Doom 3 it was the first to um, use, oh, wait, why am I babbling? Let's start the game, shall we? Okay, let's do that. So I've used the uh, no intro command in uh, the game's um, launch, launch options, so that's why you didn't see the id software and Bethesda intro. And let's start a new game. And then I bought uh, the Scorchers DLC a year back or so. And this allows us to choose, I mean to unlock the Ultra Nightmare difficulty. Because what I hate about this game is that it was so simple for me. Even a Nightmare difficulty. So this should be prove this should prove more challenging. But anyway, cutscene. Above the impact in T minus one hundred. Roger Atlas Control. This is one one three four. Check for green. One one three four. All systems green. Arc launch protocol initiated. Cryogenic preparation commencing. Initiate nanotrite injection. Check. Cryogenic life support systems online. Subterranean launch injectors ready. 97% nominal. So if you've noticed, um, this is just a cleverly design, designed Fallout clone in the sense that yep, arcs and humanity burying itself down in the depths to wait for the proper time to come out after the cataclysm. Uh, in this case, it's an external disturbance detected. Has passed. Cryogenic chambers compromised. Chamber Omega-5, online. Initiating emergency nanotrite activation. Three, two, one. Nanotrite sequencer, online. Release cryogenic chamber seals. Internal arc temperature, nominal. Rebooting internal data systems. It's the usual look up, look down. All nanotrite bio augmentation systems fully deployed. Nanotrites active. Current position unknown. Remote location beacon offline. Running full diagnostic tests. Arc external pressure seals fully released. Safe egress is now confirmed. Outer door lock disengaged. So we can now go out. Cool. Initiate pre-recorded media playback. Let's stay for the program. This is President Davis. You, the Ark Volunteers, are mankind's last hope. Our survival, our very existence rests in your hands. No one will know what you will find when you awake. But remember, you and the contents of these arcs will form the final barrier to the extinction of mankind. Our prayers go with you, and Godspeed. End 
Playback. So we've woken 100, what, 100 plus years after our supposed um, launch. So all the others are mummified. I don't know what happened with this, with this arc, but we're the only survivor. So unlike in Fallout, um, each arc only houses a handful of people. But the plot is more or less the same, you know, most of the And this game even has um, its own version of the plot. But I'm not going to spoil things for you. So I probably will be um, playing this for, I don't know, 4 to 10 videos and then I'm gonna stop because this is pretty old, I think this launched way back um, 2012, 2013, I'm not too sure. And I don't think anyone will be watching me play this from the beginning to end. Let's get the comments if you view this. Hey you! Well, let's Over here! But one thing it I ain't safe do, here. Get in. This game's gorgeous. I think it's powered by the Intec Four engine. Let's go get the buggy. And those it software guys do know their their stuff. Their stuff. I was about to say jazz. I know you got nice. questions, but we gotta get moving. Hey, okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Got bandits all over these hills. We best get going. I'm Dan Hager, and you are one lucky son of a bitch. You know, Ark survivors are worth a lot of money to whoever hands them over to the authority. Was he pointing but at me or the doom guy? You don't even know the authority head. yet. Well, I guess you don't know anything about any of this. <laughs> Welcome to the future. Yes, it's the future, all right? You are looking at 8K textures, my friend. Hold on. Got bandits. Damn shame you're still wearing that arc suit. It's a dead giveaway. Pretty much their world out here. Probably looking for their buddies. Damn. Now we both got a problem. So we need to get to my place. Once they see what I've done, they'll be coming for blood. And for you. Okay, he's I've got a plan everything. that oh, might man. get us both out of this mess. Ah, here we are. Home sweet home. Nice place you got here, bud. We need to talk. Get out of the buggy. Here, Roger that. Whatever you say. Summoning this game has succeeded. Come on, by this way. Resolution with all settings maxed out. The first time I ran this game, I I just had a dual core with only a 9800 GT, and I was having problem maxing this game out. But now I really can. So I'm curious about how this game will look and play. You That's know, we re reinstalled this one. I put a lot at risk to save you. Not just my life, but the lives of everyone here. I survived this long by staying out of trouble. Saving you may have changed all that. So it's the usual, you're going to be my errand boy spiel. So here's what I need you to do. Head to where those bandits live, and wipe them out, plain and simple. Hey, action. No Finally. one walks out alive, except you. You can use one of my ATVs in the garage, and that pistol, and the supplies on the table. 
Oh, and you won't just get my thanks. Come back alive and I'll dig up some armor that'll fit over that arc suit you're wearing. We got a deal? So this is one of the things I hate about the game. Um, they give you they give you the option to accept or decline, but it's actually a farce. You can still click click on decline, but it'll get you nowhere. The game will stop. And one more thing, those bandits shouldn't be too hard to take down. Not for you. I hear there's something special about you, Ark people. Rage is not an open world game. It was never ad advertised as such. So um, when this launched, a lot of people got got angry because they were expecting a Borderlands or a Fallout Fallout style of gameplay. But if you look at what id Software advertised this game as, they really didn't mention this as an open world game. So I didn't get where all the hate was coming from. You need to find their hideout and take care of the problem. It's us or them, and they'll be coming. I also pre-purchased the game, so that's why I have these babies. And later on, we're going to get... I think we already have it, the shotgun. Yep, there. So uh, this is, this comes as part of the, the free DLC when you pre-purchase the game. But anyway, it's not, uh, they're not really that awesome item sets but yep they're very cool bonuses haven't seen anyone new around here in quite some time this world is a dangerous place got things a whole lot worse than bandits running around out there always keep your guard up whenever you're in the wasteland okay. I hear you so even though you're going to gallivant all across the landscape by foot or in an ATV or a, or later in the game a doom buggy, Rage is essentially a, sh a corridor shooter. I mean, you can still pick whatever quests you want, to, but it doesn't um, give you the freedom of games like Fallout. shouldn't have started this video at 5 p.m. Oh god, they're not gonna stop. And one dog sniffs something or sees something wrong. It acts up in all the neighborhood's dogs who follow suit. So uh, I think I'll end this video here. So part two will be clearing out this ghost hideout. Anyway, the, the dogs are really uh feeling it <laughs> so um, this has been retroburn and you've just seen let's play rage part one so if you like this video guys please like and subscribe it would go a long way to supporting my channel see you in the next vid stay cool stay frosty